Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to make confetti with BuildBox. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily. We are talking about BuildBox 2, not BuildBox 3, which is still in beta and I'm hoping comes out of beta soon. Confetti. I play a lot of games. Do you know what you see? You see confetti everywhere. Congratulations. You got the prize. You got the goal. You crossed the finish line. Confetti, confetti, confetti. But how do you make that in BuildBox? Well, I figured it out and I'm going to show you. Here I have a UI and a world. And so here's my world. Once the character crosses the finish line, it'll jump to this UI. Level complete. We will have confetti come from the top. Now it's important to select event open, not event idle. Event open happens the second the character crosses the line. And then after 40 frames, it will go to idle. And the magic's going to happen in the first 40 frames. So step one is we're going to need confetti. For this, I'm just going to grab some images that I created. Here we have simple squares that are 25 pixels by 25 pixels. Go ahead and drag those in. Take all these images and move them to the top of the screen because we want the confetti to fall from the top to the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and change the width on half of it to give it more of a confetti look. And then we can just place them like this in no particular order because confetti is random. Now we're going to use the frames down here. We want to hit the record button, select all of these, go into this transform and just hit enter essentially saving the location on the frame so the first frame the location is saved here move the screen a little bit select all of them and now select the 20th frame move these down here like so go to the right hit enter to be sure to save it so now it's saved See, something didn't get saved. Okay, so go here for the first frame. These are supposed to be up here. Go ahead and select the scale, hit enter to save the location. And then it moves, okay. This doesn't look like confetti yet, but we are just getting started. So what I like to do is I like to go to the 20th frame, select the confetti, spin it around a couple of times, adding to the rotation, moving it, spin it around. These are all getting lit up and I don't know why that's not supposed to even happen. Not at the 30th frame, not at the 30th frame. So when you're messing with the frames, it can get annoying real quick. See these green, Dots, they show additional frames that have been added. I'm not sure why, I'm just gonna delete it. So let's make sure, spin these around. Nope, why are you there? Frame 20, we want frame 20. Everything should be, there should only be two frames, okay. Before we move any further, zero frame, all the confetti's at the top. 20th frame, the confetti spins around and moves to the bottom. Now the next trick is to copy. Warning, BuildBox does have a bug. There is a bug in this area that hasn't been fixed. Doesn't look like it's gonna be fixed. Feel free to email support at BuildBox. But when your duplicate images have animation in the UI, the duplicated images will be weird. Just keep that in mind. I try to see it as an advantage, just extra work. Just copy these and you'll see that they will all go down Oh, looks like it's copying relatively decent okay today. So I copy it, maybe do a little rotation, see how that looks. Cool, let's go here. The coolest thing to do is you just want to go to these one by one, move them around, flip them around, put them wherever. It, it will add to the randomness of the confetti. Definitely take these pieces and move them below the UI screen. And as you can see, I'm also spinning them. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this process. <laughs> Here you can see like one, two, three, these are definitely copied and pasted. So I'm just gonna bin them, mix them, and put them all over the place so nothing looks like a pattern. And that will help to look at the confetti falling from top to bottom. All 
everything looks pretty random. There's no set pattern that I can see. And let's take a look at how it looks. Looks good in the UI. Now let's check out the level. It looks kind of fast, so there's definitely ways to slow it down. And take all of it, hit the edit button. Oh yeah, so I'm in idle. So again, you want to go into open, the edit button, select all of them, and maybe let's move it over here to 27. Oh, move this green box over to 27. Hit close. Let's try it again. And we have confetti. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.